John asked for some cheesecake tonight. So I'm gonna show you how I make cheesecake in the camper van in an Instant Pot with a recipe that I've been making for the past 40 years or so. Here are the ingredients that I use. I'm gonna make this kind of a lower fat cheesecake and it's certainly a modified cheesecake. I use uh, one container of the less fat cream cheese and I found this in the grocery store, um, so I didn't have to buy a whole container of cottage cheese. It's just a six ounce container. And this is also low fat. And then I use uh, two eggs, about three tablespoons of melted butter, and some uh, graham cracker crumbs, which I buy in the box already crumbled, and then I just measure it out. And this is about three fourths of a cup. and then also about a half a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. So I do not have a spring form pan for this small Instant Pot and I don't really think you're gonna need it. Um, so we're gonna try it without a spring form pan. I spray the, the pan And then I take one of my parchment rounds and I will get the one side kind of coated with the, the, the oil and then I flip it over so that both sides, so that it'll come out easily. And then the butter, I've not done it this way before, so it's kind of an experiment. I'm trying to not use, um, not, not trying, I'm trying not to get pans dirty. So I'm gonna pour in the melted butter and mix it right in the bag. You could throw in some chopped up nuts too if you like that. Okay, now I'm gonna pour the crumbs into the bottom of the pan. They're probably still a little bit dry, but that's fine. It all goes down the same hole. And then push this down. It's always best if you take out your ingredients a little bit ahead of time so they kind of come to a room temperature. I only took this out maybe an hour ago, so it's probably a little still too cold, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm gonna kind of cut this into chunks, make it easier to mix up. And I'm gonna put it into this container that I use to, um, for my immersion blender. noise in the background is all the boats that are going by. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing. I'm gonna go ahead and start the egg, put the eggs in now. And I'm gonna throw in the sugar. I don't know how much this thing holds, but it looks like to be about a half a cup. And 
and about a teaspoon of vanilla. And I will put the recipe below. I don't know what a teaspoon is in this thing. I'm guessing four of these. Okay. And now we're gonna pour it over the breadcrumbs. your phone from mine. <laughs> Someone no doubt wanted to clean our chimneys. <laughs> okay, let me put the lid on and I sprayed the top. I sh probably should have used my, I should have used my fatter pan. I didn't. This one's just maybe a quarter inch taller, but let's hope that'll work. So that's there. I'm going to make an aluminum uh, sling. So it'll be easier to get the pan out of the pot. So go like that. And then I'll rest this on top of it and go like that. Because I have I have my trivet in the bottom and about a three quarters to a, four, a cup of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down, put this over the top and put the lid on, make sure it's in the sealing mode, and I'm gonna cook it for, on high, uh, pressure cook on high for 30 minutes. And I'm going to natural release it, so I'm not going to quick release, um, let it natural release, and we'll be back in 30 minutes. The 30 minutes is up, and now I'm gonna wait until this says 10 minutes or so, and that's about how long it takes for this button up here to pop down and the uh, unit to have no more pressure inside. Okay, right on time. It took 10 minutes, and now I'm going to lift this out. to wipe the moisture off of here. And I just see what happens because this really this pan was a little too small. Oh. Ooh, there we go. Now what I will do is dab some of this moisture like around here. Just kind of remove any kind of excess water. It's quite wet in the middle though. I don't like that. This was such a thick one. I think I'm going to put this back in the Instant Pot and cook it for another five minutes. Okay, I cooked it for another 10 minutes. So let's see what happens. Ooh, hot. It exploded out of the pan. I should definitely have used the larger pan, but let's see what happened. Ta -da. Hot. That feels a little bit better. So now I'm gonna let it cool off and put it in the ice chest and hopefully we'll be able to cut into it later tonight. So I put this into a bed of ice in the ice chest for a couple of hours and now, ideal situation, you'd put it in the refrigerator overnight. But we're going to have this for dinner, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get it out of the pan without it falling apart. This is very unorthodox. Oh, it did. It did come out. Wow. Look at that. It worked. <laughs> Nobody's more surprised than I am. 
Now I'm going to do this and do that. Oops, and voila! Wow, that's awesome. It's funny, the parchment stayed inside. I think, yeah, the parchment stayed inside, so that's good. It's a good thing I greased both sides. Okay, now we're going to plate it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like inside. It's probably not completely chilled, but it's still good. I'm going to give you that much. You can come back for seconds. Okay. There we go. And then... Yeah, who would have thought our van happening is Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> Okay. Is that work? Okay. And then gotta have some chocolate syrup on there. Whoa. Comes out fast. It's been warm today. Okay, now for the taste test. Mmm, yummy. By the way, this campground, Lake Havasu, a bit noisy, lots of boats and flying lawn chairs, and uh, more boats and lots of big engines. So if you don't like noise, this is not the place for you. I think next time we will go down to Cattail Cove, which is about 15, 20 miles south of here on Highway 95 and uh, try that campground out. But I will say that the spaces here are pretty well spaced apart and they do have showers and uh, hookups which we wanted because of the bicycles because we were going to be here for four nights and uh, wanted to make sure we didn't have to worry about charging them which we probably didn't have to but we did it anyway and we wanted showers. So um, Anyway, that is the story about making cheesecake in your RV and make sure you, if you have any questions, I will put the recipe below and I hope you guys try it. Oh, 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 oh. I do wanna say though, I think the three quart Instant Pot requires more time cooking for basically every dish. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put in the instructions in a three quart, cook it for 40 minutes instead of 30 minutes and then um, and then you can do what we did if you want and eat it quickly by just immersing it in a ice bath or if you have room in a refrigerator you can do that but this is going to be our dinner <laughs> so um, thanks for watching so this is a little update John is having hip surgery on April 29th and he's a good surgeon and most everybody says it should be a fairly quick recovery. We're hoping three weeks because our sh target date for Alaska is June 1. And uh, he doesn't have any other options but to be ready and... Or walk with the limp <laughs> <laughs> at a very slow pace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is our last trip before Alaska. And... Uh, Hawaii next week. Well, we're going to Hawaii in a week or so <laughs> for a week. But that's not with the van. No. Anyway, so we've got lots of goofing off still to do before we leave for Alaska, which means we have lots of things to do to get ready for our trip. But, um, oh wow, fish just jumped over there. Anyway, this is a great spot if you guys are ever in the northern Arizona-ish area off of Highway 40, uh, Parker Dam, and then the Lake Havasu, and this Bill William uh, River National Wildlife Refuge. Beautiful spot. You can kayak or canoe, no motorized uh, vehicles but it's gorgeous and there's pretty much nobody here.